Hi everyone, we're just about a month out from Dan's passing and we're still learning that there is no such thing as normal. It's taken a while for us to, uh, to get ourselves back together and to put some video out to talk to you. We're in a beautiful place that we love, which is Cornwall, having a few days away with some friends. And just the in, dogs. Oh, and the dogs, who you'll probably hear squeaking in the background. Uh, but we just wanted you to know that we were so touched and so moved by the people who came to Daniel's celebration of life and to the party afterwards. We were really blessed by the way the church looked after us uh, and everyone really. I could name you all, but you know who you are and we love you so much. Thank you so much. It's very windy down here in Cornwall, but at least the sun's shining and it's not raining, which is an added bonus. So we're just gonna enjoy a couple of days just to chill out a bit and uh, come to terms with what has happened, if you can ever do that. But uh, it's lovely to speak to you, even if you're far away, we can still communicate by video, which is lovely. So uh, we want to send our love and our best, best wishes to you all. Yeah. And uh, we'll send you some more footage very soon. We will do. Matthew, who's been away in America, is editing the video of the celebration of life. Uh, but this place that we're standing in is one that um, Daniel very much loved. All of this coast of Cornwall, the rugged part of it, the sort of northern bit. He absolutely loved it. Uh, went fishing here quite often, spent time in New Quay, loads of times with us at Weybridge Showground doing family camps and events. Uh, so we'll try and collect a few more pictures to show you while we're down here, bits of video and uh, we'll speak to you later. And um, what would Daniel say if he was here now, Lynn? Ta-ta, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs>